maybe you already know how to do a saw blade wrap and you're looking for ways to kick it up uh, another notch on the creativity side incorporate some color do something a little different um, or maybe maybe you've never learned how to do a saw blade wrap but have always wondered how to do them if so then you're in the right place but first I want to give a quick shout out to my most recent subscribers so here's a shout out to Fozzie Pamela Thomas Merchan Alex Grimes Tom Lombardi excuse me Todd Lombardi R Paz and William Rogers Thank you for subscribing to my channel and for the continued support. I couldn't do this without you guys. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Hey guys, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods. And today we're going to put a little twist on the old saw blade wrap. Uh, if you've never seen my first video on the saw blade wrap, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but if you have, then today we're going to discuss a couple of different options you can use to make it a little more creative, right? Um, adding some different colors um, into your base color wrap, trying different ways to make it look different, um, but still be um, a saw blade wrap. So today um, I'm going to use uh, two different colors for the saw blade wrap while incorporating it into my base color wrap right which means um, I'm going to use basically um, two NCP threads into a regular untreated thread so I'm going to use a non-color non preserver white thread and a green thread and I'm going to incorporate those into my regular untreated blue thread and the reason why I'm gonna, that I chose these colors is one this blue thread once I put um, my finish on it this is going to actually become a bit darker um, and by using my NCP thread or my white and my green um, it's going to help those colors pop now why white and green because green is um, a dark color right so that all of drab color green can, can be a dark color and can be lost inside um, that blue once you put the finish on but if you border it or incorporate it with something like this white uh, NCP thread um, that will help that green portion stand out of the rod and, and also you see that I've already got some different tag wraps and I have um, part of what you're going to see today really um, is this green and white take on part of the saw blade wrap. I'm going to show you how to do that while we're doing um, the saw blade wrap. So I'll pause there once I get to that point. Um, so you can kind of see the the concept here. Um, so I have, you know, green and white green tag wrap with blue. And because the green was my last tag wrap here, I started with green um, on this decorative wrap here, or inlay wrap, if you will. And then butted it right next to this white portion and then stopped and then I continued on with the blue thread for my base wrap and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate um, the white in the green but I'm going to start first with the white and put the green in the middle and then finish with the right the white excuse me for that saw blade wrap okay so now I'm going to take my green and my white thread and I'm going to incorporate that go to the bottom of the back side of my wrap so I have my seam on you know this is a conventional rod setup so I want my uh, seam on the back side so it's not seen um, so go ahead and take my green and my white thread I'll lay that down there I'll come back with a little bit of tape to hold those in place I'll pull that those lines tight a little bit and then I'll come back with some other tape to hold that in place there now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a few wraps to secure that and so I'm just going over I like to say at least five times but to be quite frank I like to go over about ten times and that's this that's my center mark on the blank so I'm gonna come right here okay so take these two threads real quick and come off all right so I said um, 
you know, earlier I said, so I went, you know, green, white, green, green, white. Now I'm going to go white, green. So the first thing I want to do, I want to pull, pull up my white thread and I want to get that in position to use, secure my green thread back down. So I have my white thread. So the first thing I want to do is basically a standard overlay wrap without turning the rod. Um, and for this, what I think I want to do is I'm going to do three. So I'm going to do basically one. And you know what? I will put the link to the inlays. If you haven't seen my video on how to do inlay wraps, um, I will put the link to that uh, video in the description below as well. Two. Three. So I'm going to go with three, tuck that under. And I'm just going to turn the rod a little bit to, to secure this white thread down with my base thread, i.e. the blue thread. So now I want to come back and pack using my burnishing tool. Pack the thread in there. Again, I, I did three inlay wraps. And then what I want to do, you guys have seen me do this before, so I'm going to pinch off with my fingernail on the rod. Then I'm going to grab this bottom white thread and I'm going to pull it up to my seam a little tight. Secure it underneath that tape a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back There we go. Now I'm going to back off on this blue thread and I'm going to keep my blue thread tight on this spool. And so I think I have one more. Yep. So you can see I've got one more thread there. All right. So then I'm going to stop right there. Now what I want to do is I want to get these two threads ready to use. All right, so just a quick recap. All I did was I incorporated a three wrap or a three thread inlay wrap um, with the white. I secured it with the blue and then I backed off. So you can see the blue thread or my base color thread goes this way, all right, down into my wrapper, but there's no thread going this way, no blue thread going this way um, against my white thread. It's just the white thread. So now I'm going to loosen my tape. I'm going to pull my white and green thread off of my tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start twisting these colors. The hardest part is just trying to keep your space between your twist even. Come under the rod, over the top of the rod, And then all I'm going to do is come down next to there under the blue thread. And then I'm going to lock these down with my blue thread. So give it a couple twists. Two. I'll go one more. Three. And I'll just come back.
pack this with my burnishing tool first. Now I'll pull off my, so same thing, I'm gonna come back here and pinch my color. Pull up my green and my white thread. Try to get them at the same time. Just lock those down for a second. Again, pack it in. And then back off that blue thread. Yep, so you can see I still have one more blue thread there, so I'm gonna back that off. And then now I'm just left with where the white and the green thread came together now. And again, this all comes down to, you know, just being patient, right? So now what I wanna do, loosen my two colors. I wanna find my green, okay. I have separate my green and my white, lock my white back down, get that out of the way. Um, and then now what I want to do is I want to do again, just another inlay wrap with the green. So let's go with again, three, three wraps or three inlay wraps. So one, and I want to come over that blue thread, two, three. Tuck that under the blue one. Rotate it, use my finger a little bit. I'm just locking this down with the blue thread, so give it a couple wraps. Come in with the burnishing tool. Very carefully. All right, now, what I want to do is I want to take my green thread, again, pinch it off on the back side, right on my seam, take that working end of the green and pull it tight. Up to that seam. And then what I want to do is lock that down. Now I'm just going to go in there again and pack that thread. Now, if I give it a few wraps of this blue, so you can see where, you can see how I did that other wrap to the far left. You can see here now, right? I have a half of a white saw blade and a half of a green saw blade. And you can see that the look that that makes. And that's that's an interesting looking, you know, take on the saw blade wrap just for a decorative wrap, you know, like a decorative inlay. Um, but like I said, I wanted to do the full saw blade. So I'm going to come back now um, and, and do a full saw blade wrap on it um, so we can have the green on the opposing end. All right. So let me go ahead and, and back this off. Tighten down my blue. So I'm trying to get all of that blue out of there that I, you know, use just to pack it down. And I believe that's all out. Yep. So that's all the blue thread is out. So I have just the green, uh, the white, and then the green, and then I have my working uh, green and white here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna back off my working ends of this green and white thread over here. So I'm sitting here trying to think how I wanna finish this out in the middle. And I think what I would like to do is I'm gonna run a one inlay, one white inlay, one green inlay, one white inlay, and then finish out the green and the white um, saw blade wrap. So I wanna go ahead and 
free up my threads, basically separating my white thread, lock down the green. Again, all basic inlay wraps. Um, and you can see the video, like I said, I'll put the video uh, link in, description, in the description box below for inlays. Um, but real quick before I start this, hey, if, if you're getting some value out of this video, um, go ahead and hit the like button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Uh, that way you get notified every time I release a video, which is on Mondays at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then uh, sometimes on Thursdays, uh, I'll, I'll release some videos as well. Um, and then also leave me a comment below and, and let me know um, the part that you that you found more interesting or something that you may not have known or if there's something you'd like me to do a video on in the future uh, go ahead and leave that down in the comments block so I'm going to take this white wrap or this white thread for an inlay and I'm going to do a single white inlay on this saw, saw blade wrap so one time go underneath the blue and then what I want to do is I'm going to Secure that one white inlay wrap with this blue thread. And we're just going to pack that in. So I like, um, as you can tell, I like to pack the thread before I pull the inlay or the, the base color thread for the inlay tight. So, all right, so Got the white in there, I'm gonna again pinch it off on my seam. Pull the white up. Release some of this green here. Pull up my tape. Tag it down. Again, then just do some packing with the burnishing tool. Now what I wanna do is I wanna back off that blue until there's, you know, all the blue is gone. Yep, so you can see I still have one one thread there. Okay, that's gone. So now I wanna do the same thing that I just did with the white one, but with the green one. So I'm gonna pull these loose. Again, it just takes time, just takes patience. So now I have my green thread. And again, there's no blue up against that white. So now I'm just gonna take this green thread. And I think this time, instead of doing, uh, yeah, I think I'll just keep it with one. I'm gonna do one green inlay wrap. Pulled it under the blue, rotate the rod. Help lock that green thread down with that blue thread. Give it a couple turns. All right, and then we will, now that I have got, I've got that packed in a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead, pinch it off. Grab my green working in, pull it up, tag it down, yep. and then now I'm just going to back off that blue. And then notice down here, I'm just rotating, I'm back rotating the spool to take up the slack on this blue thread. Yep, got one more to go. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. So you can see where we're at, right? So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna come back down with uh, that white thread and do one more on the opposite of that green one. So that's how it's looking so far. So get my working threads. I wanna free up my white thread. Lock down the green. Again, one last. Oh, I got one underneath that one. So one last inlay with the white. All 
under the blue. Lock it down with the blue. All right, I'm just gonna pack that in a little bit. Just rotating and packing that in. Now I'm gonna take this white, pinch it off, pull it tight. And then what we'll do is we're gonna Tape that down, secure it. I'm gonna back off this blue thread. One more. Now I wanna finish out that green portion of the saw blade wrap, so I'm gonna free up my green thread, and then I'm gonna do three inlay wraps with that green. All right, so we'll come over. One. Two. Three. So I'll secure that down. All right, and then, so I'm locking that down with that blue thread. Use my burnishing tool, just pack it in a little bit. Okay, so that those three inlay wraps for that green. So let me t pull that tight a little bit. All right, pack that in. All right, so those three inlay wraps for that green that you can see are basically the base for the blade, right? So you see how I have the kind of the thick white line with the blade portion of the white, the thick green line with the blade portion of the green. That's what this next green uh, th thread, that, that's what, excuse me, that's what this um, three inlay wrap of that green thread was for, was for that final base portion of that saw blade. So I'm gonna back off this blue thread. Okay, now we're gonna go back to, uh, we're gonna free up both of the threads. And we're gonna just go back into twisting the threads the same direction we twisted them last time. You always want to go in the same direction. If you go in the opposite direction, when you do the twist, your saw blade portions or tips of your saw blade will go in opposite directions. So now I'm just going to prepare to pass that under over the top. under the thread. Now I'm locking that down with my blue thread. Just lock that down. I'm just gonna pack this in a little bit. All right. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, free the threads, and I'm gonna pinch it off and pull it tight. Lock that down. And then now all I'm gonna do, back off this blue thread one last time. One thread left. Yep. So now I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna free my white thread. And I wanna do three inlay wraps with my white thread. And that's gonna help me border out that saw blade, if, if you will. just a little bit of white thread it was just enough so I'm just using that blue thread lock that white thread down so I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a few more turns just because I'm done messing around with my green and my white thread All right, so I'm gonna take that white one, pull it tight up to that seam. Yeah, so you can see, now you can see the finished product of that saw blade wrap, right? So this is why um, when you spin the threads at the second in portion of the saw blade wrap, you rotate or spin your threads around each other, you do it in the same direction. Had I gone in the opposite direction, so if I went cl clockwise to make this portion of the saw blade wrap, and then when I got to this portion, I went counterclockwise, basically my green lines those little saw blade tips would have been going in the same direction. I, I know it doesn't make sense, but that's how it works. So to make sure you get opposing um, opposing blades like this blade going this way and then this green blade coming this way, you rotate in the same direction. So if I twist here clockwise, I have to twist here clockwise to have that effect. There's nothing wrong with twisting it and then have it going in the other direction. You just come up with something a little bit different. So. And then all I would do, of course, is I'm gonna go finish um, wrapping all of this thread down. So finish wrapping all of that thread down. Take my razor blade, cut my two working ends. I'm gonna come back with my flex coat burnishing tool. Then I just keep wrapping that all the way down and then taking that out. But so basically that is all you have to do um, to come up really to incorporate um, color or different colors uh, into your uh, into your wrap when you're doing a um, saw blade wrap, right? Again, just taking two different colors of thread. I have a base coat color of blue, then I incorporated you know, a green and a white um, into that saw blade wrap um, without having to cut my blue thread. It allows you to just work around it by using the inlay method. It is so easy. Once you, once you understand that inlay method, you can really do anything. And then you just have to worry about keeping your seam um, tight and in the right place, All right? So, um, hey, I, I hope this helps. I hope you get something out of this video. Um, again, if, if you like what you saw today, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, matter of fact, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time uh, that I release a video, um, which is every Monday at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time and then sometimes on, uh, on Thursdays.
again, thank you very much. Uh, and then until next time, take care.